Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Psalm 133 verse 1 How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Ephesians 4 verse 3 Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Colossians 3 verse 14 And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Romans 15 verses 5 to 6 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 17 verses 20 to 21 My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 12 to 13 Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Philippians 2 verse 2 Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Psalm 133 verse 3 It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Galatians 3 verse 28 There is neither Jew nor Gentile, either slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4 verse 13 Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 25 So that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. 1 Peter 2 verse 17 Show proper respect to everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honor the emperor. Ephesians 2 verse 14 For he himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier the dividing wall of hostility. 
Romans 15 verse 6. So that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 3 verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Romans 14 verse 19. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 3. You are still worldly. For since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not worldly? Are you not acting like mere humans? Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Psalm 85 verse 10. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Matthew 18 verse 20. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 11. My brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. Romans 12 verse 18. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. John 13 verse 35. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Proverbs 17 verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Philippians 4 verse 2. I plead with Euodia and I plead with Sintish to be of the same mind in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 8. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will each be rewarded according to their own labor. Hebrews 13 verse 1. Let mutual love continue. Philippians 2 verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves. Proverbs 15 verse 1 A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Psalm 34 verse 14 Turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 17 Because there is one loaf, we, who are many, are one body, for we all share the one loaf. John 17 verse 23 I in them and you in me so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Colossians 2 verse 2 My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 18 In the first place, I hear that when you come together as a church, there are divisions among you, 
and to some extent I believe it. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 26 If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Ephesians 4 verse 16 From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. Romans 15 verse 7 Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bear with each other, and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Romans 14 verse 1 Accept the one whose faith is weak, without quarreling over disputable matters. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Proverbs 6 verse 19 A false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 7 The very fact that you have lawsuits among you means you have been completely defeated already. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be cheated? 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 9 Be careful, however, that the exercise of your rights does not become a stumbling block to the weak. Colossians 3 verse 11 Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 33 So then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you should all eat together. Romans 16 verse 17 I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them. Ephesians 4 verse 25 Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. Proverbs 16 verse 28 a perverse person stirs up conflict, and a gossip separates close friends. Proverbs 17 verse 14 Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. 2 Timothy 2 verses 23 to 24 Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Proverbs 12 verse 18. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Psalm 19 verse 14. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Galatians 6 verse 2 Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Colossians 3 verses 8 to 10 But now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, 
anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Philippians 1 verse 27 Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18 Therefore encourage one another with these words. Proverbs 17 verse 9 Whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. James 1 verse 19 My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have but do this with gentleness and respect. Proverbs 18 verse 19 A brother wronged is more unyielding than a fortified city. Disputes are like the barred gates of a citadel. Colossians 4 verse 6 Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18 All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. James 3 verse 13 Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Proverbs 20 verse 3 it is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Hebrews 10 verse 24 And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Proverbs 19 verse 11 A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Matthew 18 verse 15 If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault, just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. 2 Timothy 2 verse 14 Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Proverbs 22 verse 10 Drive out the mocker, and out goes strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. Titus 3 verse 2 To slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. James 4 verses 1 to 2 what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire but do not have, so you kill. You covet but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. Proverbs 15 verse 18 a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 For God is not a God of disorder but of peace as in all the congregations of the Lord's people. Proverbs 12 verse 16 Fools show their annoyance at once, but the prudent overlook an insult. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 
In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Proverbs 21 verse 9. Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 13. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. Proverbs 21 verse 19. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness no one will see the Lord. Proverbs 26 verse 20. Without wood a fire goes out. Without a gossip a quarrel dies down. Matthew 12 verse 25. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Romans 14 verse 10. You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Or why do you treat them with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. James 3 verse 16. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. 1 Peter 2 verse 19. For it is commendable if someone bears up under the pain of unjust suffering because they are conscious of God. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? Proverbs 3 verse 29. Do not plot harm against your neighbor, who lives trustfully near you. Proverbs 26 verse 17. Like one who grabs a stray dog by the ears is someone who rushes into a quarrel not their own.